Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob with the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. And today is Monday, and just as I promised, my pumps came in. So I got two kinds of pumps. One's a 24 watt, um, 800 gallon per hour pump, which is upright like so. And uh, the other one is a submersible pump. Um, it's a 40 watt, which is the one I'm gonna use in the uh, greenhouse. Sorry about the wind. And uh, it's a 850 gallons per hour. So the first thing we're gonna do is hook up uh, the new pump to this, uh, the towers, and see if I can get all the water system to work. Second, uh, a little setback on, uh, I, I'm using ever, ever sweet strawberries and I didn't have enough. I only ordered 50 and I need 100. So I looked all over the place and found out they're all sold out in the main places I bought them. But the silly place is like, okay, let me check. I checked uh, Amazon and guess what? <laughs> they have the Everberries. So I ordered those so I won't get those till Friday, which is okay. Uh, I've got 50, over 50, uh, uh, about 45 plants started now and gives me a chance to get my water system uh, tweaked in. So I'm going to do a water test with this new pump, but I'm not putting nutrients through yet. So let's get that tested. All right, guys, we're starting with the uh, first pump, which is upright. comes with suction cups, and they give you a spare in case you lose one. And uh, that's what they look like. And you have several different fittings. Uh, little fit most pipes so uh, I found the right one got it all plugged in and uh, it's down here in this tank and uh, I'm doing a test right now but I will be putting a painters uh, filter around the tank to protect it but for right now it's just set up at the bottom and uh, we're ready to test it out and see if I'm getting water to all all the towers so this could be a little messy because I haven't really situated all of these yet. so let's see what happens all right just turned on the pump definitely have water coming here water here water on the third level and what I'm concerned about is the ones at the end so let's see how well we are doing and what do you know we've got water so let me uh, situate these pipes a little bit. All right, took a couple of minutes, but uh, looks like all the uh, pumps are working. That's a good thing. Uh, I've got to arrange these a little nicer. But uh, yeah, it's really interesting how the water feeds each other. It's pretty cool. And uh, basically what these will do is run about... Uh, maybe five to ten minutes um, three times a day once I get nutrients in it I gotta go check and see how much water we pumped through so far but uh, that pumps gonna work all right guys we're in the greenhouse now and once again this pump comes with lots of fittings and suction cups so this one's more like a sump pump uh, it's a little bit more powerful it's 850 gallons per hour and uh, I like it because I think it will work good for the tank I'm going to put it in. So let me get this set up and we'll do a test. Alright, we got the new pump in there. I have it protected by some uh, painter, uh, a painter bag. Uh, it's not the one I'm going to use later, but it will work for now just to protect the pump a little. Let's turn it on and uh, see how well the water circulates. Alright, so I got the pump on. Um, getting water here alright. But I'm more concerned about farther down the line. So I'll go a little bit farther down here. See what we got for pump. Definitely have water. Go even farther. We have water. Go farther. We have water. If we have water, here's the big one. Will the one at the end have water? It's got water. A little slow, but it's getting there. That's good, as long as I'm getting water. Yep. And the water is draining out already. Just want to make sure I don't have too 
little water in there. So it looks like the system's working. And that seems like the right decision for the pump. So uh, yeah, pretty happy with that. So we go, pump is working. And plenty of water in here so I don't damage it. And uh, my water, these last four buckets are brand new. Sure, we didn't get a chance to rinse them, so I might get a little bit more chalkiness out of uh, into the water, and that's okay. So, very happy with that. That means we are set to go. So, uh, rule one: <laughs> I have to have some plants. Uh, second, I do have the nutrients. I'm using a master blend. I'll uh, do, in later videos. I'll go through what I'm doing for my uh, fertilizing. But in the meantime, I just want to make sure our system's working. And it is. So very good. No leaks. No leaks on the floor. All's good. Well, I want to uh, kind of review on everything. I'm really happy with the Dutch bucket system. It's set and ready to go. I am concerned about the towers over there. So that test we did, um, and I ran it for maybe over five minutes. I almost used all the water in the tank over there. So uh, either I got to increase my tank or put a water float on it so I can refill it with water. So every other time I run it will have nutrients. Uh, or I find a way to do a water return system at the bottom of those uh, towers. So uh, yeah, we're still not totally tweaked in. Uh, it's functional, but uh, a little concerned about the towers to make sure they all get enough water and there's enough water for them. So, yeah, we're going to do some more research. I might find a plate that would work at the bottom of those towers that I can collect the water and return it back to the tank. So, we'll check into that. Okay, one last thing I wanted to show you guys is I'm changing how these uh, distribute water. One is I'm going to put a drippers on the end of these, which will give us pressurize the water a little more. And because of the way these are designed, when the water goes in, it goes straight down to here. And there is holes in the center, but they're only water the secondary one from the back. Because I didn't kind of like that. I didn't really like that. So. Uh, I decided to make these uh, special lines here that will go uh, uh, across to each one of these and get the secondary so everything gets watered properly. So uh, uh, I'm putting drippers on all of those which will kind of pressurize the system more which means I'll probably get more water. So I did get all these wired up, well not wired up but hosed up, but I didn't have enough drippers. So I don't have these trimmed out yet. Guess what I gotta go? The Home Depot again. Sorry about the wind guys, it's Central Oregon. So uh, uh, we solved a lot of problems today and created new ones. <laughs> so we're getting there. That's all right, it's really early in the season. <coughs> so there you go. The last thing I was gonna bring up to you guys is uh, uh, my experiments with hydroponics in a bucket like those. Uh, didn't work because I can't get the lights close enough and everything leaked and uh, got too long so I scrapped them so uh, I'm starting my tomatoes these uh, over here is my new broccoli and also some cucumbers so we'll get those started move those I'm using uh, Rockwell cubes and then we'll move those to an aquaponic tank to they're big enough to go into the greenhouse into the bucket system. So uh, yeah, we changed it a little bit, got our lights down a lot lower and very happy. However, my little onions in the top here are actually pretty happy here. So I'm trying to decide whether I want to let them grow out there or do I take them outside eventually? We'll see. So anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up. I know lighting's bad. Uh, I want to thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come. And I want to thank all the new subscribers 
And uh, please, uh, in the comments below, say hello. And uh, we appreciate it. So uh, take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. And have a great day, everyone. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.